Hello, welcome to everybody. So in, uh, in this tutorial series, uh, we are uh, discussing about uh, uh, for basic C Sharp Windows uh, applications or how to create a basic Windows applications using, using C Sharp uh, programming. So last, uh, last tutorial, we discussed about uh, tax box and and uh, for combo box button how to work so today i gonna discuss about uh, rest of the button i hope you are enjoying uh, so let's go how to use a mask box a mask box is basically used for format data types like uh, email phone number mainly phone number is very popular when you click here is a lot of option here just look here short date uh, zip code uh, phone number so this is the u.s canada phone number style uh, GB postal code style so just select this one and then when you run so it is automatically format it looks like uh, like this is it's, uh, it's none other uh, difference between tax box is just a formatted text format and another one is a numeric up down you can set uh, from uh, maximum value and minimum value from the property by default it's increasing uh, zero increasing one by one but by default is zero you can change the value one and you can change increment like as for example five so when you it's now by default one when you click here is change one five so increment five bell so it's, it's it's easy to for easy for application another box is a picture box so you can display your picture here just select your picture from your driver and you can also uh, centralize your picture this one best option and here is the tool tips uh, it's very important this one is tool tips and uh, time delay uh so so now we have one tooltip so it's automatically display for automatically test for all control look this is a please insert your name so when you run these applications and see here is nothing when you mouse hover here is not display anything but when you hover here this is a tool tips a configurations uh, I select tool tips uh, informations information and this is the title so this is the icon what kind of icon and uh, initial delay automatic delay how many so just look here we don't have any here but when you click here And here is a date time picker is very important for uh, Windows applications by default is a very long date time you can customize your date format for that you have to uh, coding but by default uh, from here you can change a little bit maximum date minimum date so to customize uh, 
your application uh, you have to write the time picker custom format so this is a customized date format format the time picker custom and and you can change uh, if you need what kind of date format so look here so it's a year month and date if you go here m it's display first three letter of the month it's november and initially it's displaying in current date okay let's uh, move to another control is a link you can uh, put a link web link uh, so it's very easy so this is a link uh, so it's a processor info so you have to add in this uh, class library and this is your uh, address so just a start and click here so it's it's opening in google to change so it's very simple so another very important control is radio buttons so look uh, just drag a two radio button and one name is uh, one name is a female and change uh, the name and another one is a uh, btn uh, mail so this one is uh, mail and run this application look what's happened so when you want click one disable or is automatic by default built-in functions but normally for web application you have to do it uh, uh, programmingly so it's uh, by default and you can pass uh, this value I will show you how to pass uh, below when you click the button. So just uh, move our button here. And here, this is our function. So, so now here, see, I write these uh, programs. So when this is a string below gender on a radio button mail is checked through it's this the male otherwise it's this the female and gender is calling in the message box so by default you can select check equal to true so now it's check equal to true is male you can select this one too but if you select it, it will automatically disable so so run this application so look what's happening so now is a male selected if you select female so now is a female selected it's a quite simple easy task in visual studio and another control is a tab control two tab it's very easy in it. this is another uh, another uh, win form so in same window you can use multiple tab one by one like this very easy so now i will show one very important control is a check box so radio version it is one is like for multiple choice it's only one question will be true 
but chat box it's you can select multiple option for one as for your skill so if your skill is you have a lot of skills so skill is a one your skill is a, a c -share java so those are your uh, three skills so you can select uh, in the same time as a multiple skill but you can select did to uh, send to gender it must be one gender for one person but one person has uh, multiple skills so uh, it's also very easy to pass uh, those uh, below like just scale and uh, um, you can add those skill easily a lot of method you can uh, add But uh, for this, another one uh, good example, this is two here. Look at that here, two chat box. One is chat box, another in chat box list, chat list box. So this one easy to do that. C sharp, we have C sharp, uh, PHP, Java. So just call this one, just one control in in your code behind and it's automatically display and then so this is uh, our second tutorial of basic uh, c -sharp tutorials another one very important in the property you can change the .NET frameworks now I'm working 4.5 here is assembly yeah, you can describe your uh, trademark company name and it will be displayed on your exe files and this is the exe icon when you change this icon it will be display here so by default the icon is this one so normally when you change this icon it will be display so it's an ioc file you need them ico file it's only if support ic file you have to convert png or a g file so this one now our application so just on a pre-finish just debug the solution even you can publish application here just click here to publish and a lot of function here it will be appear but you don't need to publish application you can use this application from here and just uh, copy this one here is a release there is nothing but look here is nothing i know on a release just select release and then control debug and automatically it's used to release folder there is a debug assembly and another one is very important when you publish just select uh, you publish an application so those are included file and uh, free requisite now our prerequisite is a uh, .NET framework 4.5 only but if uh, if you use your uh, in these applications uh, skills server or uh, report VR control whatever everything here you just uh, select and and here is a mention down do the free requisite from your computer vendor side or your same location or your location so read this uh, it's very easy to publish and you can control your version here and uh, publish a path location so just a press and it's automatically publish your applications here you can change the connection uh, strings uh, settings a lot of things uh, so we will discuss if you have attempts we will discuss 
what is the letter but uh, very interesting is a lot of people want to see the icon so just change this icon so here is the release now i just debug release mode here we have now two one is a debug another one is release mode so nothing is a difference but uh, little bit quite difference because it's creating a manifest uh, also here there is no manifest um, so later you can change uh, manifest uh, and uh, configuration also you can change if you use uh, settings database blah 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 so thank you for resting with us uh, i hope you enjoy this video next uh, video uh, i will uh, uh, teach you a lot more about um, C sharp tutorials, C sharp basic Windows applications. So, thank you for staying with us. Thank you very much to watch this video.